the journey of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe started with the journey of Tony Stark. Much better than big old, oh, yeah. little clunky. clunky and that sound is great. The hero looks a little large too, but I think we might be able to get away with it. Going back to Favreau and Robert Downey Jr. and the founding moments of Marvel Studios, we said, we want the hero to be as interesting out of costume as they are in costume. I had just been hired to cast in the first Iron Man. John Favreau was on board at that time, and I remember asking him in a meeting with everyone, tell me all the qualities that you think are most important. Fast, quick-witted, and funny, and dynamic, and a bit troubled, and confident, and brilliant, and all of these things, and we really kept coming back to Downey. Stan Lee said he kind of created him on a dare. Could you make a billionaire weapons manufacturer, philandering philanthropist, you know, who largely lives an ugly and irresponsible moral psychology? It's a piece. If you look at Downey and his early work, you know, it's amazing. I mean, you look at Chaplin, you look at Less Than Zero. I mean, they're tough characters to watch. Robert Downey Jr. at that point in his career wasn't necessarily a family-friendly name. Today is ridiculous, uh, but at the time, it was, whoa, risky casting Robert Downey Jr. The truth was, we got to a point that we realized if we didn't cast him, that would have been the biggest risk. Robert has a whole career of great work behind him, and he was at a point in his life and his career where he was ready to break out and do something really big and exciting. Sean was in love with the idea of Downey playing the part, and we all felt so sure about him on a creative level because he wasn't instantly a slam dunk approval, I suggested we have screen tests. I remember walking in with Robert Downey Jr. the day of the tests. He was laughing and in great spirits and completely at ease. And he got in front of the camera and started saying the lines. I assure you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll happily transist to manufacturing bricks and beams for baby hospitals, making hemp pants and the like. But until that time, can I get you a drink? I don't want to call it an out-of-body experience, but it was one of those rushes that I'm sure like somebody would feel if they're about to play a big sporting arena playing for the ring or something like that. It was just like, am I going to pass out or am I going to nail this? On that day that Robert screen tested, it was clear that there was no one else who can play that part. It was magic. It was exactly the feeling as a casting director with Kevin, with John, with everyone that, that we all wanted to have that feeling like we have it. This is it. This is Iron Man. Iron Man 1 was incredibly special. We sort of improv the whole thing. We laughed, we cried. We, we got very, very close on that movie. We were the first Marvel movie as a studio. You know, there was no real model for it yet. Nobody expected too much of it. It's Iron Man. We wanted to make a good quality film, a good story, something that was smart enough, funny enough, I still remember Tony landing in the high desert in the eastern Sierras when he escapes the cave and I was buried up to my neck in sand and the storm was coming in and we only had a couple minutes to get this taken. It was like God's grace just came in and gave us the take that was in the movie. Not bad. I loved the first movie so much. I was just so carried away by the story. It was funny, it was clever, it was witty. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. By casting Robert Downey Jr., they were intent on breaking the tradition and mold of these types of movies. It was an unexpected choice at the time, and so it made for this really dynamic, really surprising performance. Yeah! Oh! Is that so hard? He's so bright and so fast, and it takes you so long to catch up with him, and it's perfect for that character. Good luck keeping up. I think most of us have been pretty vocal about what he started, and, and without him, none of us would be in this position. He really is the patriarch. I think he really understood the weight of the responsibility with these movies. Iron Man 1 changed the genre. And I think the casting of Robert Downey signaled to the world that we are serious about our characters and we really respect them in a way that we're going to hire the best actors possible. It really was just this perfect storm. I had hypnotized myself into such a state of confidence that I was certain that everything we were doing worked. And uh, the rest is history. I am Iron Man. Oh,